Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be going over the ClickFunnels 2.0 blog overview. This is going to be definitely an upgraded section that ClickFunnels 2.0 has to offer, especially if you're going to be utilizing a website and you want plenty of blog posts to be a part of it. If you haven't gotten to test out ClickFunnels 2.0, I will leave my link down below in the description so you can test it out and follow along with me if you like, or if you're a current customer, you can use it to log in. Let's begin. So in order to get to the blog aspect of it, if you go to the left side under sites and funnels, you're going to see the blog right here. I've kept it at the standard aspect so that like when you get started, it's going to look very similar to this, just so you know what to expect. You'll most likely start off with a couple dummy posts just to kind of show you how they work, what they're all about. You can delete them later, but I'm going to keep them. You're going to have all of them here. There's going to be draft and of course public. So anytime you go to create a new blog post, which is right here, you can choose whether you want to keep it a draft or of course public. In my recommendation, I'd go with draft until it's ready to go and then you can click on make it public. If you want to customize your actual blog template, this is where you're going to want to do that. So if you click right here, this is going to take you to the editor that allows you to edit the entire template. This is going to be different from when creating an actual blog post, okay? This is going to be the top part here, as you can see. So if you go to edit section, you can change this around to, you know, say this is going to go to home, or maybe you can delete this, do like testimonials, and so on and so forth. There's going to be aspects here, very similar to an editor. If you double click on that, you can edit it. But all this is going to be, you know, specific post titles. The good thing is that a lot of these are just dynamically updated so that anytime Time you create a new blog post, it will be there automatically and that will save you a ton of time, effort, and of course work. That's kind of how you um, edit the entire template. Let's move back and show you some more aspects of the blogs. If we want to edit the blog settings, we're going to click on the gear right here. Okay, this was just an example. So we have our primary blog, probably going to be calling it something else, maybe your brand. So like this could be marketing island, you can choose the path of it for the URL. We have our style template page. And of course, there's some SEO stuff categories if you want to add those and tags categories is going to be good if you plan on talking about a specific amount of topics so say like sales funnel could be a new category and anytime you do something sales funnel related it can go under that category tags we have authors so if you're going to be the main author of course you can add yourself in you're going to have multiple authors that's where you're going to be able to do that okay so those are the simple blog settings let's go back and last but not least of course if you want to create a new blog post this is going to be the button for it Okay, we have our title, we have our summary, we have a featured image, and of course the SEO and sharing, where if you click on this, open it up, you'll get a little bit more when it comes to the title, the description, and of course the current path. Your featured image you can add here, which is going to show up when you actually publish it, but let me just show you how this works. Let's click on title, do. Okay, so we have an example and an example post. It's just an example. And this is what I was talking about before, where most likely before actually uploading it, you're going to want to keep it on draft. And you might notice you're going to be like, well, where do I actually put my blog post? That's why I recommend keeping it on draft because you're going to go to the editor for a different part of that. Okay, so let's just click on create post. And now that it is closed, let's click on example. And you'll notice it might show our original template that we were on. What we want to do is click on the example under the blog post. You'll notice a lot of it's going to be gray and it should be that way because a lot of this is going to be uneditable. You'll notice that if you click it, it says only post content can be edited on this page. To edit surrounding content, edit the post template page. If you wanted to do that, you can do that right there, but I'm going to X off just to show you how you go about doing this. Here's going to be the main content where we could add the full page, one column, and of course we could do paragraph. Sounds good. And this is going to be where all of our text is going. Let's just highlight all this, move it to the left. And let me move off of this. So type all of your blog posts here. And of course, when you're done, you know, thousand words, 2000 words, whatever it's going to be, click on the save button. And I'm just going to preview it very quick where you can see type all of your blog posts here. Okay, perfect. And like I said, all of the top part and the bottom part is the stuff that you can, you know, edit from your main template. And of course, if you have an image, it's going to be up there as well. Last thing I want to do is show you how to delete it. So let's go back. And since this is an example and I don't need that, and eventually you're going to need to delete this as well, how you do that is click on the gear here for edit post. You're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom and click on delete blog post. Proceed. 
And just like that, that is a very quick overview of the ClickFunnels 2.0 blogs, the settings, how to customize it, the templates, and of course, creating and deleting your blog post. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. I'll probably do some more videos when it comes to creating, you know, a little bit more aesthetically pleasing uh, blog post. This was just an example to show you how the frame works and so on and so forth. If you haven't gotten to test out ClickFunnels 2.0, I will have my link down below. And if you click that, you can get a free 14-day trial. That about does it. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.